Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the new video. So hope you guys are doing well. So before I start, let me tell you I have completed my first year in the Bennett University and right now I am doing the Leading India AI internship organized by Bennett University. So this is a summer internship this time and it is going virtual because of the lockdown. So in this internship, I was assigned a project that is to build a decentralized application for KYC using blockchain. So KYC means know your customer. So it was fun building this application and my mentor was Dr. Shashida Melor and I enjoyed a lot in this uh, internship and working with him. So this internship was four week long and I learned a lot about blockchain, about transactions, about contracts, about deploying all those things and storing all these information you can just transfer the balances, ethers and all those stuff it was very interesting. So let me tell you about something about this project before we go on to the demonstration of this project. So know your customer, that means KYC. KYC checks are extremely time consuming and very costly affair. So banks have to spend a lot of millions of dollars every year to keep up with the KYC regulations or risk being fined heavily. So to decentralize the application, we aim to simplify this uh, process up to a great extent. Now our idea is to keep these identified information into the blockchain, store in the blockchain and organizations and companies would verify it through the decentralized application. I would like to call it right now DApp. Okay, so organizations and companies would verify the identified information through this decentralized app and users can share their data or we can say the information to the companies and they'll verify it through this. Also to minimize the fraud and identity theft, in order to achieve the transparency also, the details have to be stored in the blockchain which is a very secure network. So if you just scroll over web, you can get more info there. Okay, before moving on to the demonstration part, let me tell you we are using a couple of softwares here. One is Kanash, second one is our Node.js, third one is our Remix ID to write the solidity contract i mean to say that to write the contract which is written in the solidity programming language so we are going to use the remix ide and the fourth is the metamask extension which is a cryptocurrency wallet and the cryptocurrency here is ethers okay so let's move to the demonstration here i'll show you everything Okay guys, so welcome to the demonstration part. So this is our the first page of uh, decentralized application that we have created. So before moving on, we need to do some prerequisites. So what we are going to do is, so this is our smart contract behind the whole application. So we need to deploy it once at least, then only we can perform the transactions and interact with the, con interact with the contract through app. Okay. So for that we need an account some full of ethers. So for that we will use the Ganache. So Ganache basically provides a lot of accounts full of ethers so that we can use for development purpose. So let's open Ganache. As you can see this is Ganache. So we are going to quick start. This is going to create blockchain automatically. Okay. So look we have 10 accounts full of ethers. So this is the MetaMask extension we are going to import the account so let's copy the private key here import as you can see i've got 100 ethers so before going further let's reload the page okay let's deploy the contract so use the injected web3 environment that is metamask we are going to deploy this as you can see it's working and we have to pay some gas fee for every uh, let it be contract deployment let it be interaction with contract you have to pay some gas fees whenever you are making changes in the uh, you whenever you are making transaction or making changes in the blockchain so just confirm it as you can see the contract is created here but we don't want this we want to connect it with the front end so it's almost done now we are going to move to the front end okay now we are going to register so let's start by filling first mine
Okay, so oops. So let's register myself. As you can see, the transaction is happening. We just confirm it. Okay, so after registration, we have got this page. So basically, I have provided $10,000 in every account by default. Whenever user register, he will get this much account so that we can perform the transactions. Okay, uh, so let's check it out. As you can see, there are $10,000. So what we are going to do now is we are going to create one more uh, account by name of some other user and now we are going to perform the amount transfer in both of them account okay so both have both will have ten thousand dollars but one will send some amount to the other one okay so let's say mine is created now let's create one more account okay so back to the page let's register one more account here let's say aj chandra aj147 at the rate gmail.com password is 741520106993 mail indian pen card is 9875 okay okay so before uh, clicking on sign up we need one more account for ajay also so that he can perform the transaction so we are going to import account from the we just copy it, second one and paste it as you can see we have got hundred liters now we are going to click on sign up so as you can see it's done press on confirm here we are so now going to check the balance again ten thousand both of them now what we are going to do is to pay them so let's click on back okay now we got ourselves here in the payment page so what we are going to do here right now uh, Ajay has logged in now he's going to send five thousand five hundred dollar to me to my receiver's public ID and I'm going to provide it here this is the public ID of mine so you would be wondering what is this this is the address which we copied for myself for importing the account for me so let's send amount successful we are sending the amount confirm okay so let's check the balance okay so this is my account right now so let's check it the let's check it the amount as you can see 15,000 feet 500 now let's confirm it the solidity contract also so this is the solidity contract now let's provide my address here we are just going to call it as you can see I've got 15,500 my name is there and if I just look over, look at uh, Ajay's account from contract then look 4,500 right so front end work properly now let's see blocks so as you can see we have done we have made changes in the blocks so oh, we have done some transactions so four blocks are created and here are the transactions once for deployment two for create the account last one was for sending them out so this is how things work and this is how the decentralized application works so okay hope you enjoy this so guys hope you like the video and the decentralized app we have built so this is how the things are done the future scope of this project is to uh, make these details public so that organizations or companies can verify these details right now we have just interacted with the block what we have how we interacted basically that uh, when we were sending the amount we were changing the balances of both the accounts so both the accounts details are stored in blockchain so while after every transaction one block is created so this is all in the blockchain things work hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section if you have anything to say or have any suggestions for the upcoming videos hope you like the video have fun